Oof. My car is like... <coughs> What's up everybody? It's Jeremy here. I'm Oceanbound. Heading to Pleasure Bay. Not going that far today. It's, it's a Saturday. We've got a sea breeze. It's been pretty consistent actually all for the last like two hours. We're hovering around 15, 16. Around now like, um, you know, from like two to four, it's supposed to peak. Oh, there's someone already out winging. Stoked to see that. Oh, there's someone out oiling. Yes, they're ripping. Flags look good. Stoked. It's gonna be sweet. Hitting Pleasure Bay in a nice little way on a Saturday. And uh, that's my plan. All right, cool. Wish me luck. Ha, a funny little thing just happened. I'm gonna go out and try a 7.5 meter gong. I wanna know if that thing works. I totally wanna know if it works. I can. I mean, I, dude, if I was in the five right now, yep. I'd be sitting in the water. Yeah. No doubt. I could never get up. I mean, I'll tell you what, I'll go out on your stuff. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, cause then, and then I want to try this board with that thing. And then, and then you can just have all your stuff back. But I'm so yeah, curious. Yeah. Yeah. So curious. Yeah. Oh, well, 7.5 gone. Started, <laughs> this thing is ginormous. How are you? I'm about to try a seven and a half meter wing for the first time. Oh my god, you guys are crazy. This is a, a beast. I'm also psyched to try your Armstrong. Unfortunately for me, my big friend uh, Jerry from Oceanbound is a pro basically. Woo! There you go. I gotta put this in your feet too, man. Yeah. So he's much better than I am. So he's gonna give me. He's professional fit, he's much better than We'll I see am. what we can do. We're gonna race. I don't know if I'm more stoked to ride his board or his wing. Oh boy. The wind's not that strong right now, guys. So that's the Cabrina right in front of here, seven meter. We had his board, his wing. You're going up right now. There we go. Here we go. Flying birdie. There you go. He finally got it. Oh wow. Now we will. Thank you, It's a whole different experience. Ooh. I'm going to try my five. Yeah, I mean, there should be, a, it kind of feels like there's enough wind. But this thing is such a monster down on the trailing edge. Like if that trailing edge was tight, I feel like you could pump with it better, but it's really hard to pump with because of, because of the size. And like, I just need to pump to get up right now, you know? So we'll try it back to back basically. I want this to work right now. All right, so. So Mr. Big Shot over here has something to say. He has his five meter wing. I'm Mr. Big Shot. I'm, a, I'm trying a five meter strike wing versus a seven five gong, which I've never been on before. It's borderline <laughs> what you can get up right now. But I felt like the gong held me back. The trailing edge was flapping a lot. Whereas this one's nice and tight. 
So I feel like I may be able to pump better with this. But let them know that you're using the same setup. But I'm well. using the same board. <laughs> like not wobbly at all it's kind of awesome all right now i'll try mine i don't have enough for this it's no almost there yeah okay but so it's for the same situation that you're in with the same board set up mm -hmm. you almost you actually got up on the, on the other one yeah yeah you got up on and then i went on this and i oh. felt like i had nothing so it definitely gives more pull I'm, I'm a six meter man hold on hold on hold on no, 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 I, want you, no, I want you hold on i need to start this over yeah because you might become the sponsor man for gong oh yeah 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 going straight to the shot yeah your opinion about trying the five meter the same setup and then trying the 5.7.5 gong i just demo with the pros and cons this feels like i have no power it does feel like i have power with the gong but like i can't when i pull in it's like the amount of time to have the wing pull in, gotcha. release, and then pull in again is too, there's too much like resistance going yep. back. So it's like I have enough power, but then when I go to get another stroke, like a power stroke, it's like not. It feels like you're sliding a lot on your own. And it's, it's, like, it's just because yes, that yes. back edge, the leading, yeah. the trailing edge is like going like this, it's not as tight. So well, you were able to go up on that a little bit on, yeah. on the gong, but not on this. Of course, it's only five meter, but generally speaking, I mean, I'm, we're, we're going to try it with my board. That, <laughs> that, not, that's a lot right there, too. You're not able to say yet about if you like it or not? I'm not even going to say I like it. It's more of like, should I be out here <laughs> in these light winds? Okay, let me ask you. My point is, yes. on a light day, Yes. with that, so, you, so you far, go up a little bit. Yeah. But see, you only have like one try, dude. Yeah. I mean, you probably if you work more, it probably would be worth it to have something that big. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Well, not that go. heavy. Answer for my good I think the thing is really heavy. Yeah, oh, I still gonna make my comments pretty soon. Yeah, and look at look at how loose that trailing edge oh, yeah, is. That... Oh, I want this to work so bad. And if it doesn't work, I won't put this in the video. <laughs> if I can get up, you can harness me. Right now? No, if I can get up. Well, yeah. I need I don't need a whole pump fest in my ass. See what happens now. Alright. Well at least he's not getting up. Ahoy hoy.
right, so last year life was just simpler because a six meter used to kind of be like the biggest wing that you'd want to have for like light wind situations. This, I, I had a seven meter gong in my hand last year and I remember it was so heavy and it seemed to have like 20 handles and, and all of that. And this one was definitely different, seven and a half meter gong. It was lighter than I thought it was gonna be. I think the biggest downfall is that kind of flappy trailing edge on it. But it really makes me think, you know, the, I don't have a six meter right now because F1 is has not released theirs yet, whether it's the swing or, or the strikes. I hear this year they're doing a six, seven, and an eight meter strike, which is crazy. And I think they have two struts on them. So I think that may be good for holding tension on that, that trailing edge. But at the same time, I don't know if it's gonna drift the same. So. If I get a six meter, do I want a six meter strike with struts and all of that? Or do I just want to go back to a six meter swing? Because I know that those swings can drift really well. And I really need something that I can do in waves, like light wind waves that can still drift. So anyway, this gong, it was an experience to try it. I actually did better on my five than I did with his seven and a half. On my setup, I did better, but I kind of think he had a um, an army 110 liter board, 2400 foil and the, the 300 stab. And I felt like that 300 stab was really holding me back. Like it felt like it was a weight in the back of the foil. And once I went to mine, I, I had a 71 liter 232 stab with the 1850 and that with the five meter, I was just able to pump like with the right cadence and kind of get up. So I do wish I had a six meter in a session like today. And I really don't know what to do when F1 finally comes out with their new wings because I, I want a six meter, but am I gonna have FOMO? Am I gonna feel bad? that I don't have a seven or an eight meter because maybe they solved that trailing edge problem and maybe those seven or eight meters are just gonna be baller. So I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, the journey continues. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys wanna see some more of my videos, please consider clicking that subscribe button. And uh, with that, I hope you're all doing well out there. I'll see you on the flip and I wish you all an awesome day. Later.